Good morning children. In previous class we have seen some of the short questions that arise in this animal fiber lesson. Now we will continue some the further questions that may be asked in this lesson. See here children the next question which place in your state AP. Our state is AP so it is called as Silk City. Dharmavaram in our state AP is called as a Silk, silk City of Andhra Pradesh. Dharmavaram is the Silk City of Andhra Pradesh. We can say that Previously, Pochampalli was the silk city of Andhra Pradesh when Andhra Pradesh was, you know, Telangana was divided from the Andhra Pradesh. See here, in sericulture industry, do which stages of silk worm weavers buy? So, weavers usually buy at caterpillar stage or cocoon stage. Caterpillars, they buy and they feed them with the mulberry leaves and they, when they are fully grown, they stop eating the mulberry leaves and uh, transform into the cocoon stage where they stifle the cocoons and also they uh, weave the fiber from it. They take up the fiber by reeling process and weave the fabric. And sometimes they also buy the stifled cocoons only. So here the weavers in silk, sericulture industry, sericulture which means the rearing of silk worms. Weavers buy silk worms mostly at caterpill, caterpillar and cocoon stages. Caterpillar means larval stage. The weavers buy the silkworm caterpillars from seed growing centers, that is greenages. It's called as greenages. You can write in the brackets. These caterpillars produce silk fiber when they are grown by eating mulberry leaves. So they, they also buy the stippled cocoons that will continue to write. Now you write down this mark. The next, the weavers also buy the stippled cocoons at cocoon market and obtain silk from the cocoons. You know that the weavers, they usually buy the stippled cocoons and they obtain the silk fiber after the uh, reeling process for, by obtaining the silk from the stippled cocoons. So by this reeling process, they get the silk and weave the silk fabrics. Next question, what are the differences between fleece of angora goat and camel? So the fleece of angora goat, we normally find these angora goats in the cool places like in our country if you take it into account like Kashmir, Kashmir valleys and all we can see this angora goats and camel especially in our country like these camels are mainly found in the desert regions like Rajasthan. So here the fleece of angora goat, the fleece, the hair of the animal which is called as the fleece is soft and smooth for angora goat whereas it is coarse and rough for the camel. So the fleece of camel is rough and coarse. The fleece is used, the fleece of angora goat here is used to weave costly woolen fabrics such as sweaters. The fleece is used to make the mufflers and stockings for, from the fleece of camel here. So we, we can say that the fleece of camel is rough but under the rough skin also sometimes we can find the soft skin, soft fleece also can be found of the camel too. It's obviously it may be found in some of the camels. So this is the main difference between the fleece of angora goat and camel. We'll move to the next question now. Write down. The next question children, in what way the knitting is different from weaving? Knitting I told you in which the knitting needles are used to weave the woolen fabric. In weaving process the looms are used to weave the woolen fabric. Both are used to weave the woolen fabric but there is a slight difference in both of them. We, knitting process is a time taking process whereas the weaving process is uh, it, uh, it can be done very quickly that is um, because it is done on the machines uh, it, the time taken is less when compared comparatively when compared to the uh, knitting process see here children knitting is a process in which knots and loops are made weaving in weaving process interlacing of threads are done that is the warp and weft threads are being used horizontally and vertically in which the interlacing the threads are done fitted to the harness knitting needles are used in the knitting process whereas the weaving is done on looms fitted with the harness in knitting process it can be done independently weaving process is a laborious process it needs so many workers to do it time taking process knitting process is a time taking process whereas the weaving process is done on looms so time taken is comparatively less than knitting process okay children we'll see the next question now write down the next question children it is probably asked 
that if you go to the Kashmir or the cool places, which type of clothes would you like to prefer to take in your luggage? So this how to write the answer normally in the cool places it is very cool to protect the from the cold climate we usually wear the woolen fabric why do you do so because woolen fabric is a uh, it protects us from cold by not entering the outside cool air to inside and the inner heat will air will be inner warmth will be protected in itself by not coming outside of the woolen fabric so it does not allow the air from outside to get in or from inside to go out so in this way we feel warm so this is the answer that you are going to write here see here the children the question is if you are going to visit the Dal Lake at Kashmir what type of clothes would you like to keep in your luggage so here, why Dal Lake is situated in Kashmir at the lap of Himalayan mountains. Where it is situated first you have to know it. Covered with snow all the season, seasons, in all the seasons. I would like to keep woolen sweaters, gloves, monkey caps, wooden stockings in my luggage. Why is it so? So these garments protect me from the cold winds at the Dal, Dal Lake because wool is the poor conductor of heat. So this is the answer. Write down and you can do like this the answer you can proceed it so you know that woolen fabric protect us from cold so what is the reason reasoning questions can be asked like this they will be giving the statement to you and you have to give reasons for that statement so in fact woolen fiber fabric protect us from cold so see here the reason wool is as you know well wool is the poor conductor of heat it prevents the flow of heat from our body to surroundings. So we feel hot and are protected from cold. It is a simpler manner to write the answer in this method. Okay children, next comes the essay type questions. The various essay type questions that may be asked in this lessons are as follows. You write it down. Okay children, so come on. And the, the, some of the differences that is about the wool and silk differences and also the stippling process why is this done how is the why is the, the stippling process done so these are why are the silk cocoons boiled these are some of the questions that can be asked in the essay type questions now we'll proceed further to those questions meanwhile you complete this question okay children in the next class we'll take up the essay type questions of this lesson for today it's enough thank you very much have a good day Bye.